Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and in this video, I will be teaching you how to make this mini tray of food out of polymer clay. For the mashed potatoes, take a small ball of light beige and then texture it with a toothbrush. Then keep texturing it with a toothpick and also a needle tool. For the piece of meat or the steak, I would recommend using some brown clay, but I just used beige clay instead, and then texture it with some fine grit sandpaper. For some deeper grooves and bumps and things like that, I just went over it really fast with a toothbrush. Then using a needle tool, I just scratched up the surface and then also textured the sides. I also made a couple grooves where the grill marks will be. For the biscuit, roll out a small ball of clay and then texture it with some sandpaper. Also texture the top with a needle tool. For the strawberry cheesecake, just cut a triangle out of white polymer clay. I shaved off some light brown and kind of reddish chalk pastel and then lightly shaded the biscuit and I also shaded the meat. So I had to remake my tray because of a little change of plans I had. And anyway, you're gonna wanna cut a little rectangle out of a thin sheet of clay. Line the rectangle with a really thin snake and also use the snake to divide the tray into little sections. My white clay is Sculpey 3 and which is really soft clay. And it's really easy to blend and I didn't have to add any extra clay to the seams, but you're just going to want to blend out the seams and you may need to add some extra, depending on your clay. After pre-baking, take some dark brown acrylic paint and then line the grill marks of the steak. For the gravy, I mixed some acrylic paint and some chalk pastel, as well as some TLS. The peas were really easy to make because they're literally just really small balls of green clay. Make the corn kernels, make tiny little balls out of light yellow clay, and then add a little groove in the middle of them. Use some orange clay for the carrot and then cut it into little squares. I didn't get this part on camera, but you're going to want to take some pinkish red acrylic paint and mix it with TLS for the cheesecake. To make some whipped cream, just texture a tiny little ball of white polymer clay and then texture it with a toothbrush as well as a needle tool. Once you have baked that cylinder, you're going to want to take some plastic from just some packaging and then heat it up over a tea light and then stick it down on that mold. For the jello, you're gonna wanna take some food dye and then mix it with some glue and then put it in that little plastic cup you just now made. Everything that's supposed to be shiny, I glaze with satin glaze and then the rest I just left alone. Like, comment, and share this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next tutorial.